For what? This really cute top that I want to wear when we go shopping this weekend. What smells like death? I was burning incense, and isn't the whole point of shopping to get new clothes? But it's a sale! Can we open a window or something? This smell really depresses oh, me. shut up. I like it. You also like the smell of rubbing alcohol. God, I am so tired. I feel like I was hit by a train. <laughs> so where's the sale? Tegan and Rancho? You mean Tegan and Rancho? Sure. Yeah, they have cute clothes. That's why I need ten bucks. You can wait till this weekend. You never let me have anything nice. <laughs> so you like Casey, huh? What? Where did that come from? Uh, yeah. I know you, and I know that that top is for his benefit. Is it really that obvious? <laughs> oh, please. You should be shopping for a shirt that says, I heard Casey Whitaker, or a billboard, or a tattoo on your forehead. Okay, I get it. I And I don't like him. I just think he's hot. Hey, Kat. Where's your deodorant? I dropped mine in the toilet. Ew, Connor, that's gross. Well, look, it's not my fault that... They make the deodorant way too small to put back in the casing and way too slippery to hold. That's the company's fault. Oh, hey Steph. Hey. Why are you putting the deodorant on over the toilet? Well, I'm a multitasker. Uh, whatever, top drawer. Thanks. That's kind of gross that your brother borrows your deodorant. Yeah, only when he runs out. <laughs> this has happened before? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just glad he wears deodorant. I can't even imagine having brothers. Oh god, don't try. It's like that nightmare where you're trying to run away from something, but you can't move. So you just run in place until whatever chasing you catches up and then you wake up. <laughs> Jeez, how do you really feel? It's really not that bad. <laughs> the rest of the nightmare is cured by you know Voldemort? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, kitten. Are you okay? Yes. I'm eating chocolate chips out of the bag and my robe on the couch. I'm fantastic. How about you? I'm great. Um, when was the last time you showered? Oh. I don't know. Are you going to shower today? I'm not promising anything. Dad, are you ever going to get out of the slump? I know it hasn't been that long, but you need to clean up eventually. Kat, I loved your mother very much. Like I love you. Her passing hit me hard. I imagine it must be hard for you to see me like this. But something will come around. It'll come along and take my mind off it. Then I'll clean up. Okay, well then let's go and... No, something will come along. I'm not going after it. I love you, kid. Love you too, Dad. Yeah, I'll be spitting on the regular. Come join me in my summer. No, you asked me what I'd be on. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get such bad grades. <laughs> that's really fun. Ah, thanks. That's a, what are you doing, Steph? <laughs> He's so hot. So I've heard. Just stay in the obvious. Just like the fact that Casey's abs are as ripped as Taylor Lautner's spray on. My what? You're talking to us when you should be playing video games. Aren't you working on a high score? I'm taking a break. My butt's sore from sitting the crap out of all those zombies. What? I don't know. Sleep deprivation, soda, nine hours of game playing. Makes one sound like a drunken old man in a circus at a Sunday night. See? Casey? Did you steal my freaking game again, man? No. Hey, Steph. Hi. So, do you have it? I don't have it. Well, God damn it. Where I leave that shit? Why don't you jump in the toilet with your broken dreams? Ouch. No. But I did find um, your sense of humor in the toilet, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. Ha ha ha. Do you check in your room? No, Gaff. I've scoured the entire house for it, and I forgot to check the one and only place that it should be. Well, you're smart. Whoa, bro. Where are you off to? A funeral? For your information, I have a date. Really? With who? Some girl I met. 
You're gonna have to give us more than that, dude. You know the internet doesn't count, right? Hey, Steph. Uh, no, I didn't meet her online. I actually met her at the store a couple weeks ago. She dropped a loaf of bread. I picked it up. We got to talking, and I got her number. From a loaf of bread. I know, it seems weird, but that's just what happened. And so I'm off to meet her at the Corner Cafe at about uh, 30 seconds before I start talking to you. You just added about 10 seconds on to that. All right, bye. Good luck. What's going on, Winnikers? Oh, muy entusiasmo. Entusiasmo? Enthusiasm. Try to keep up. What's with the Spanish, Holmes? I'm a Mexican, chica. Dude, you're as white as this cracker. Whoa. I didn't hear you. I was too busy being awesome. Come at me, bro. Hey, don't fight, ladies. Come on. Ow. Fuck. Sorry. What is that? Oh, uh, Riley, I found your game. Oh. Thank God. Well, where was this? It was in my room under some clothes. Oh. I was cleaning, so there you go. Okay, I probably left it there when I was over last weekend. You're welcome. Thanks. So where'd Connor go? He had a date. <gasps> Our boy's growing up! Hold on, Jake. Why were you cleaning your room? Well, pretty much after all my family drama, my dad is now afraid that if, I get, if my room gets too messy, I will get lost in the mess. But, you know parents, when, they're, when there's something going on in their lives and they're oblivious to anything around them, until they get to that stage where they can finally get off their lazy ass and do something about their sad, pathetic little lives. Mr. Whitaker, I didn't mean Yes, I know what you meant, Jake. Stop doing that! God, I'm sorry. I sl it slipped out. I was venting. I know what you guys are going through. How? My parents got divorced. My mom moved. My mom got remarried and moved. My dad got remarried and then my stepmom left him. My dad has gone through two of these things. I only said those things because I'm tired of watching dads go through this emotional roller coaster that is their life. It's boring. I think you should go, Jake. Fine, I'll leave. Bye. Right. Hey. Hey. So, what happened? Oh, yeah, uh, Jake pretty much just told Dad he's a sad, pathetic loser. What? Yeah, you'll see next time they see each other. More like hide from the awkward grenade that's gonna explode and get freaking awkward shrapnel in your vital organs. So, uh, my parents got tickets this weekend to go skiing. I'm sure you're free. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Oh, uh, Steph, I can't go shopping this weekend. Well, shoot, now I have nothing to do this weekend. Oh, Steph, if you're going shopping and you need to know what looks good on you, I've actually been told by Kat on multiple occasions that I have a keen eye for girls' clothing. He does. <laughs> There's that. I did pick that top. You did, yeah. So, are you interested? Sure, why not? Okay, awesome. Well then, how about Saturday at noon? I'll meet you here. Okay, super. <laughs> It's a date. Okay. Yeah. Magically I spit these rhymes on my hopes pocus. Pocus. Why is your house always so empty when I'm working over? Because I'm the only one who can stand to be in the same room as you. Oh please, your brothers love me. I'm their sister's hot best friend. You got that right. So, but seriously, where is everyone? It's 9 a.m. in the middle of summer, and they're all teenage boys, so where do you think they are? Touche! Why are you awake? I haven't been able to sleep much lately. Why not? I keep thinking about my mom, and if I'll ever know more about her. That's too bad. I was in that vulnerable stage, and this will just not help. Kat, have you seen my pajama pants? Oh, my god. Hey, Steph. Hey! I didn't so see you there. Wait, put some clothes on. I would if I had my pajama pants. Have you seen them? Why should I know where all your stuff is? I'm not your mom. I don't know where they are. Okay.
Hey, Romeo. How'd the date go? You came home yesterday and you didn't tell us anything. The date? Well, it went well. We have a lot in common. That's great. Tell us about her. Let's see. She's... she's funny. She's, uh, she's beautiful. She's caring. She's beautiful. She's short, about this much. Maybe this much. Did I already say beautiful? Aw, I think our boy's in love. I'm not in love, Steph. She's just perfect for me. Careful, Connor. Remember the last girl you thought was perfect? <sighs> She's not gonna sacrifice me. Alright, just be careful. What's her name? Danielle. Oh, I love that name. Me too. I must say, Connor, she sounds pretty cool. Yeah. So you like Steph, huh? What? Come on, bro. We all saw it. See this. <sighs> it's a date. You were all over her, dude. I've been told I have great taste in clothes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that. It's just a friend thing. It's sure it is. You just want to be alone with Okay, her. listen, guys. I don't like Steph, okay? Would you please just fucking drop this? Sure, bro. We're just messing with you. Alright, we know the line with Steph. We wouldn't cross it. But you are a really obvious flirt. Well, I guess I got that from Dad. And by the way, the line is not a laughing matter, okay? Whoa. Whoa, Whoa. Whoa. where are you going so fast? Connor and Casey are being assholes. Yeah, and what's new? About Steph. They keep bringing it up. They just don't know how you feel about it. Well, it was years ago. We said we'd never talk about it again. I know, but ever since then, they thought that something was going on between you two. And you know you're gonna have to tell her the truth eventually. Eventually, yeah. But I thought maybe I could write her a note, and then she, after I die, she could read it. And then I would avoid bruising, breaking of bones, the silent treatment. Yeah, now you have to tell her, face to face. When the right moment presents itself. Okay, well, I will! Hey, guys, where's Connor? I don't know. Why would you give Riley a hard time about him and Steph? You know that's a sensitive topic for him. We were just messing with him. Yeah, well, now he's back in that vulnerable stage. What stage? You know, like he was right after the incident. Well, is he gonna tell her finally? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe when they go shopping on Saturday. He better. It's been eating him alive forever. Jesus. <laughs> Dad, you scared me. Sorry, Riley. Do you mind if I join you? Please. What are you doing out here, Dad? Um, well, I started watching a TV show and I just haven't turned it off yet. Uh-huh. Um, Dad, have you ever done something that you really regret, and, like, you really, really regret, and, and you can't find the guts to, to tell the person who it might affect? By something, do you mean the Steph incident? Yeah. You know, you've been carrying that secret around for a long time. If you don't get it out, you're gonna explode and die. Explode and then die? Well, you have to tell her. 
She has one side of the story, the wrong side. A complete and utter lie. But you have the information to put everything straight. And if you don't, that fire of chance and opportunity will die down and all she'll have left is that fact that she's been facing for five years. You have a chance to keep that fire going. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. hey, long time no see. Yeah, I know. It's been, what, a day? Yesterday was really fun. Yeah, I thought so too. Want to set a time for date number two? Yeah, sure. What are you doing right now? Praise word. How about you? Actually, I have a second date I'm going to be late for. Oh, you. They said you'd come home. Are you okay? What happened? I'm alright. Not great. Jake made sure I didn't get killed. What were you doing hanging out with gang members? You obviously didn't read my text very clearly. I said don't listen to anything he tells you. Jake got paid to make sure I got run over. Did the guy that hit you happen to have a scar on his face? Yeah. Who's that guy? His name is T-Rod, or Theodore Rogers as we used to call him. He was one of mine and Jake's best friends in elementary school. We did almost everything together. Then when we moved up to middle school, he met Stephanie and became obsessed with her. Steph and I were walking from school one day, and we noticed that this hooded guy was following us. We assumed it was Theo, and he wouldn't leave us alone. So Steph turned around to confront him, and he pushed her down to the ground. He pushed me to the ground too, and I grabbed a bottle off the ground and smashed it in his face. But luckily Riley was there, and he saw the whole thing. The next day, we saw Theodore being arrested. The last thing he said before he was put in the cop car was, This day, I'll be known as T-Rod, and T-Rod will have his revenge. But he was looking at me when he said it. So now he's back to get revenge on me because I'm the reason for his face. Wow. I know. Well, I'm sorry to say I can't go skiing with you this weekend because of my injury. Sorry. <sighs> That's okay. Skiing should be the last thing on your mind. You just focus on healing. Thanks. I will. But hey, now you could go shopping with Steph. <laughs> yeah, as if I didn't want to spend every waking moment with my boyfriend. And she'll understand. She can go shopping with Riley. Okay. Hey, could you do me a favor? Anything. Could you keep Jake away from me at all times? I got it covered. I'm drying. It is. 
It's your fault that he's in the hospital, and I can't stand the fact that you were the one who gave him a broken leg. So until I cool down or figure this out, get out. I don't care where you go, just get out. I, I'm sorry. Get, Cat, I didn't get mean to out. You should have minded his own goddamn business. What was that loud conversation between you and Jake? Oh, right. Yeah, Jake just told me that Ryan's been hit by a car. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> that's not even what freaked me out. What freaked you out? Who was driving. And? What's wrong, Kat? It's Theo. Theo's back in town? Don't say his full name. Well, we're not gonna worry about that because that was just a warning for me. And he's not here right now, so we're just gonna drop it. Well, where's Jake then? Gone. Hey. Hi, I have some bad news. Oh, okay. What's up? Uh, we have to reschedule our date for tomorrow. Something came up and I have family matter to deal with. Oh, okay. When do you want to reschedule? Um, I don't actually know right now. Once this whole thing is sorted out, I'll call you, okay? This whole thing? Is, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I just don't want to get you in the middle of this and the date would be bad. <laughs> okay. I'll pretend to know what that means. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, JC, do we still have that old fan? Uh, yeah, it's in the closet. Can you go grab it for me, please? Yeah, one sec. Whoa. Oh, dude. Dude, check this out. What? What's it in that box? It's all our old stuff. It says blanket and others. Dude, are you okay? It's 80 degrees out. No, dude, it's all our old stuff from when we were kids. Remember we labeled it that way so dad wouldn't go through it? Probably would have thrown all this stuff away. Oh, okay. Check it out. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Dude, it's your Game Boy. Does it still work? Oh, it does. I remember. Cool, man. Oh my god, remember when you solved this thing? You remember when I never solved that thing? <sighs> You're right, I solved it. <sighs> Mom was really impressed with that. Mm -hmm. Remember I used to drive this around all the time? Yeah. Us too? Dude. Casey, you gotta spin it. Spin it. Your problem. I was never You're hopeless, Casey. I know, I'm hopeless. Hey, look, look. Yeah. That's the art. Dude, is that the Lion King? Lion oh, King. That was our favorite movie. <sighs> Remember our favorite line? Kuna Matata. <laughs> What is that? Picture's mom. No way. Yeah. Do you recognize any of them? No. It's all from when she was in the hospital. Dude. Mom's medical records. Oh my god, you're kidding. Bills and everything? Never got to see this stuff. Your dad knows these are in here. I do now. Dad, I we didn't know what these were. No, it's okay, Casey. I'm not mad. Dad, what are these doing in here? Well, I just couldn't throw them away. Dad. Yeah. What really happened to Mom? You know what happened. I mean, I know what she died from. I'm I'm not asking for details. Just. How did it happen? 
well, we were sitting at the table, having a romantic dinner on our anniversary. When the hospital called and said that your mother needed to come down there right away because they had something to tell her. So then when we went down there, he said that your mother had cancer and she had six months to live. And six months later, but well, you know the rest. You had to ask. Sorry. I'm here. No, look, I'm fine. Oh my god, okay, you're not okay. You need to just lay down. Oh, I'm just a little bit wobbly, but I'll probably be better by next week, Monday. You think you're gonna be cured in four days? You're crazy, get back in bed. No! Cat, I just have a few scratches left. It wasn't that big of an accident anyways. You were hit by a truck, Ryan. Okay, that's a big deal. You're delusional, now get back in bed. No, Cat, you don't understand. Fine. I'm strong. I was hit by a truck and I survived. That makes me a man. Uh, if that's how you feel, then you obviously don't need me around. Are you still looking at that box? Yeah. Okay, Connor. The pieces do not fit together about Mom. What do you mean? I'm looking at this medical records, right? And it doesn't add up. Dad's story and the dates in here don't correlate at all. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. Um, was there by any chance anything you left out of the mom story? I don't think so. What? It's just I miss her, that's all. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Happy? He's hiding something. <laughs> hey, look who's dressed. Yes, I am. I'm feeling a lot better. For what reason? Well, seeing what it was doing to you kids, I figured it was time. Plus, Casey still thinks I left details out. Yeah, what's up with that? He thinks I lied about how your mother died. Did you? Not really. I left out a few details, but nothing earth shattering. Like what? I only keep secrets to keep you kids safe. Okay, it doesn't add up. I mean, according to the medical paperwork, the dates of her being diagnosed, being given the medication, and the actual date of her death don't correspond at all. I, I'm sorry, can you give me an example, dude? I'm lost. Okay, Mom was diagnosed on April 17th, 2006, according to these records. Huh? But Dad said they got the call on their anniversary, which we all know is... May, May 3rd. 3rd. Exactly. And she was given her first dose of medication a month, two months later, on June 21st, which should have taken two months to run its course, which brings us to August 24th. The doctor found out a week later that it wasn't helping. And then on September 2nd, Dad declined an alternate method, which was apparently too risky, so she was virtually immobile until her next and last recorded treatment on November 17th, 2006, which is... Seven months after she was diagnosed. But she would have been dead by then. Exactly. So, well, did you find out what happened? Is Dad lying, or are the records wrong? Well, the only explanation I could find would be... <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, Casey. Come in! Danielle! Hey, Connor. Hey, what are you doing here? Can I talk to you outside? So this is Danielle. You gotta introduce us, Connor? No, no, Kat. I really need to talk to you. Hold on. You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't think so. Connor, outside? Okay, what's going on? All right. Hi. Hi. Jake, what are you doing here? Hey, Danny. Wait. Hi. Wait. Wait. You two know each other? No. That's 
your new nickname, buddy. Okay. Look, uh, Kat, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, and I know you're still mad at me, but before I say anything else, I kind of bumped your car on the way. Oh my god, Jake! You might want to look at it. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Cat. Theodore. It's T-Rod. Yeah, T-Rod, sorry. Connor, Danny, get back inside. I can handle this. Oh, hello, sis. What are you talking about? You're Danielle Rogers. I knew I recognized you. That's what I was trying to tell you. You guys need to hide, especially you, Steph. T-Rod is out there. S Riley, will you take her to the back? Sure. No! What? what? I'm done hiding. I need to face him. That is not a good idea. Why not? I'm the reason he's pissed. This is all my fault. It is not your fault. Cat is the one who threw the bottle in his face. He's the reason she's pissed. Yes, yeah, Steph, you can't blame yourself. So I'm just supposed to sit here while my best friend gets attacked? Yeah! Get out of my way, Jake! I can handle this. Get back inside. Don't worry, it's fine. Oh, Stephanie, glad you could join us. What do you want, Theodore? Uh, it's T-Rod, but all I want to do is to talk, Jake. Paying Jake running over my boyfriend? Oh, all that? That was just a misunderstanding. How? That roll of cash begs to differ. Are you siding with him, Jake? Oh, Jake, there you are. I was beginning to worry. Well, he did pay me, yes, but... Then how about you fill me in, Jake? All I want to do is say hi to my old friends. Hey, Theodore. Danny! 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 Mm, Connor? Yeah, it's me. <sighs> How could you not tell me Theo is your brother? Because I recognized you in the cafe, and I figured if you recognized me, you wouldn't have gone out with me. I have liked you for all these years, and I still like you now. I liked you too. I still do. I just wish you'd been honest with me. Would you have gone out with me? Probably not. Exactly. And my brother is crazy, but I'm not. Well, I'm crazy about you. Oh, God. So can we just put this behind us and start over? Guess. <laughs> After the party in the alleyway, the... it wasn't Theo in the hooded sweater. It was me. What? Well, so that day when you guys were at school, in the midst of the hubbub in the party, everyone was drinking. And I didn't really have anybody to talk to. My girlfriend had gone off to I don't know where. And so I just went on a walk, which was ill-advised because I could barely walk at the time. But I did anyway. Um, I got um, a text from a random number saying, I'm sorry, it's not going to work out between us. And I assumed that it was from my girlfriend and she just changed her number. 
And then I got another text later that day from Kat saying, Sorry about the girlfriend thing. Hope it all works out. And then I got another text from that same odd number saying, I'll be in the alleyway at 10 if you want to talk about it. Well, so I was pissed at Kat for not telling me about this sooner, and then also at my girlfriend for going through my sister to break up with me instead of just doing it in person. Well, what I didn't know was that actually all of those texts were meant for Jake. But I went to the alleyway, saw a couple of girls there, and I assumed that it was Kat and my girlfriend. It was dark, I didn't have my glasses, and I thought that you were my girlfriend. I didn't mean to push you over, I was just trying to confront you. Well, later I, f I, f I realized what I had done, and I told the cops that it was Theo. You know the rest. I'm so sorry. I can't I... believe Do you keep this from me all these years. Well, my God. intention wasn't to all hurt you. All this time! I haven't met him when I should be met! Well, you! I'm <laughs> Our sorry. friendship is over! You don't know Jake's side of the story yet, Steph! Are you still shuffling through those? Of course! Where's Danny? She left. Dude, you missed a brawl outside. Theo came back. <laughs> what? Never mind, not important. Well, yeah, you were... You were about to say something right before Danny came in and then Jake walked in. Oh yeah, thanks for that. Well, so, did you figure out what really happened? I think I did. Hey guys, what's up? You lied to us, Dad! What are you, what are you talking about, Casey? You lied about what really happened to Mom! No, I didn't, Casey, I swear it. Now, can we just move on? I know you're upset, but we have all got to just move on. No! You lied! It says right here, in this report, that you personally denied chemotherapy. You had a good chance to save her, and you didn't! You killed her! They couldn't offer the treatment that your mother needed. Everything worked out for the best, Casey. Your mother agrees. Agreed. And what you're basing off is incomplete facts. So please drop it. I wouldn't lie to you, and if I did lie, it would be for a damn good reason. What does that mean? Akuna Matata. I can't. Tash, I can't. I can't. can't. What? Tell me what's going on. Why are you taking money from Theo? That, that is... Is what, Jake? That is a story for a different time. Scene 10, take 2. He's so hot! I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, your brothers love me. I'm their sister's gay friend. <laughs> <laughs> their sister's gay friend. Theo's back in town? No, not like him. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, hello, sis. What? Oh, sorry, that was terrible. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs>
What's up? Connor's in a cop car outside. What? 